Undaunted Normandy is a relatively easy game to play with simple rules. You start by selecting one of the 12 scenarios, but for first time players the first scenario is recommended. At this point you set up the battle tiles in order. Put in the spawn markers, troop counters, objective markers, and any other markers or tokens that need to be placed. You set up for each side as explained in the scenario instructions. The D symbol indicates cards that go into the deck. The S symbol indicates cards that go into the supply. Now, shuffle each deck and draw four cards to make your hand. On subsequent turns, if your deck runs out of cards, shuffle the discard pile to refill the deck. Initiative is set for the first turn, but on subsequent turns, each player selects a card with the highest number winning initiative for that turn. Ties mean the initiative marker stays in place. Once the initiative has been decided, discard the cards involved. The player with initiative will play the rest of their hand. You can play any or all the cards one at a time. You choose to play one of the listed actions on each card. Each action may have a number next to it. It may represent the number of tiles you can move, such as a scout action, the number of dice used for an attack, or perhaps the number of cards you may pull from your deck or the supply. For movement, scouts are the only units which can move into uncontrolled tiles. When they enter a tile, they place a scouted marker. This allows other friendly units to move into those tiles. When your scout places a scouted marker, add a Fog of War card to your discard pile. Remember that Fog of War cards cannot be played except to win initiative. Rifleman can use the control action to flip a scouted marker to its controlled side. If an enemy control marker is present, flip it to its scouted side. Controlling a tile with objective points means that side now has those points. That side continues to control that tile even if none of their soldiers are present. Command cards, as noted by the star symbol, have no tokens on the map, but they do have a number of actions that can be used. Inspire allows you to pull used cards from the discard pile to play again this turn. Command lets you pull cards from the deck into your hand. Bolster lets you take cards from your supply and add them to the discard pile. Guide lets you add movement to the soldiers present on the tile. Stalk allows you to move soldiers into tiles that have not been scouted or controlled. Target is used by the mortar team to place a target marker on a tile three or more tiles away. Remember that if you move the mortar team, you will have to remove the target marker from the tile. A hunker down action can be performed with any card. You simply return that card to your supply. There are three combat actions in Undaunted Normandy. Attack, Suppress, and Blast. For attack or suppressions, choose an enemy counter present on the board. Their defense value will be a combination of their stated value, cover value as noted on the tile card, and distance in terms of the number of tiles from the attacking unit. When added up, your die roll must equal or exceed the total value to score a hit. If you roll a 10 or 0 on the die, then the attack hits even if the cover value is higher. A blast attack requires the target marker to be in the tile with at least one enemy counter. Remember that the range is not counted as part of their defense value. Plus, all counters, including your own, that are in the tile are considered targeted and will be affected by the combat die roll. A suppress that succeeds flips the counter to its suppressed side. A suppressed unit cannot do anything until it recovers. This happens when you play the matching soldier or scout card from your hand. An attack or blast that succeeds means that the enemy forces take casualties. A casualty means that the opposing player must remove a card representing the target from their hand first, and if it's not in their hand, then the discard pile, and if not there, the deck. And if no corresponding card is in their deck, they must remove the counter from the board. If you want to add a soldier token to the board, Play the corresponding card from your hand and then place the token in the area with the spawn marker that matches. Spawn markers may include all, be divided by squad, or by designation. To win the game, consult the victory conditions which may require reaching a preset level of objective points or pinning the enemy. If a side reaches the required number of objective points per the victory conditions, they win the game immediately. A pin means that if no riflemen from the opposing side are present on the board, then they win the game immediately. In case of a tie, the side with the most objective points wins. If that is tied, the side with the initiative marker wins. If you are still tied, consult the Beyond All Hope rule in the rule book. And that is the basics of how you play Undaunted Normandy.